on this hot, humid, sunny day is the star campaigner of the Bharatiya Janata Party in the southern states. Anna Malai joins us. He's called the Singam of Tamil Nadu, created a bit of a stir in the battlefield in Tamil Nadu. Now, you're being deputed by your party outside Tamil Nadu. You haven't proven yourself in Tamil Nadu yet. You've become a star camper in Telangana. I'm only doing uh, what work party has given, sir. Uh, there are lot, not, I'm visible to you. There are hundreds of karyakartas outside Tamil Nadu who are working in Andhra now. They're doing a work that is going to support our candidates here. Everybody is busy. The state president is busy. All leaders are busy. We manage the office. We do some work for them. It is our duty. So there's nothing to prove or not to prove, sir. We are doing our duty as Karikar. You know, the big story today is this uh, comment made by Congress leader Sam Pedroda, where he said people in the South are like Africans, those in the East are like Chinese. Uh, what do you make of this comment from Sam Pedroda, who seems to have shot his mouth off again? Very unfortunate, sir. What he said today is very unfortunate because Africans, Chinese, Arabs, whites, I'm not saying it is a wrong term. It's okay. They are their own culture and civilization. But what he means is we are descendants of invaders. Uh, somebody has invaded our country and we are descendants of those invaders. That is why West Arab, uh, Northeast he calls Chinese, North he calls white and South he calls African. This shows their mindset. And uh, that is why I mentioned in my tweet also now, this is coming from Sam Tritoda sitting in US and essentially coming from Congress party. You are linked with George Soros. And the leaders have got an origin that is outside the country. They are not in Bharatiya spirit. They are shooting their mouth because they believe in it in the heart. That is why it is important, like our Prime Minister says, India is getting ready for a Congress Muth Bharat once again in our thinking, in our lifestyle. And people of India are watching. Not only this inheritance tax, now this. And every Congress leader is competing with each other to show the people of our country who can shoot their mouth more. But it seems that Sam Petroda is like a lucky omen. Good luck charm for the BJP. It's almost like you all have propped him up. Ki kuch bolo, boss. Create some masala which gives the BJP a punching bag to attack uh, the Congress with. An indisciplined party cannot go further, sir. If you look at a party that has, doesn't have its communication strategy, anybody can say anything. And Congress party for what we are seeing, it's a disparate group of individuals who have assembled which is glued by the Gandhi Parivar. Rahul Gandhi ji is the face of it. Uh, zero discipline, communication we are seeing. Anybody can speak anything they want. And that is a reflection of Congress mindset. A disciplined party cannot go anywhere, be it governance, be it an aspiration for power. And Sam Petroda ji is severely undisciplined, inheritance tax, just created an issue. Now again is uh, calling, that too is standing by it. Sir, look at the language he spoke. He said, India is such a complex country to govern. So meaning he says that we are not Bharatiyas, we are not a single group of individuals. We are alike with each other. In this, that is why Congress mentioned South is different, North is different. Congress mentions Northeast is different. Now, Sam Petroda has given some logic to what Congress is saying. Very indisciplined. You know, the other big uh, controversy is the Prime Minister targeting the Congress for not attacking Ambani Adani. Now, given the charges that have been leveled by the, by the Congress at the BJP for being close to these industrial groups, what do you, as a strategist, as a political worker, think of the Prime Minister using Ambani Adani to now attack the Congress? No, sir, we watched the Prime Minister's speech today in Telangana. So what he meant is, now for Congress, Ambani Adani is a dirty word. They say, oh, you are dirty people. That is how the whole narrative, they are running it from 2019 very specifically. Now, PM is saying, okay, you please tell us how much money you have taken from the industrialist. You may mention dirty money. You disclose to the people of our country who has backed you, who has given you money. And so-called dirty money, you come out and open. I think Prime Minister is only saying, for a long time, Congress is vilifying industrialists in our country. And Congress mindset is somebody is an industrialist, meaning they have done something wrong. If somebody has earned money the legal way also, in Congress mindset, you have made it the illegal way. Our Honorable Prime Minister in Telangana today has come out in the open to say, okay, you are calling them like this. Now you come out in the open to say, you haven't taken any political money, be it a state unit, be it a central unit. Even in the legal way, you haven't taken any money. Come out in the open. Let Congress come out in the open and say, they don't have any association with the Ambani's and Adani, sir. At any point of time, during any elections, let them come out in the open and you say. You are currently in Telangana helping the BJP with its Telangana campaign. What is Telangana looking like? Because this is the one state where the Congress thinks it is in a good position to give the BJP a fight and the BJP hopes to more than double its tally from last time. It's a very interesting election in Telangana, sir. 17 seats. And Congress believes Telangana is their fourth BJP 2019. We had four MPs, people of Telangana have given. But this time you see, sir, when June 4 results are coming, 
Telangana is in a very clear mood. First, they rejected TRS in the assembly election. They are going to reject Congress in the Lok Sabha election because of how the Congress have behaved over the last few months. They gave wrong promises, six guarantees. They came to power. They couldn't even fulfill a single guarantee. And Congress in its narration, in its speech, complete anti-Hindu. The election commission, the chief electoral officer has banned one Congress star campaigner from using certain words. Whether Ram is your cha-cha, chachi, this is the kind of language that they say there's a fight between Lord Ram and Lord Shiva. This is the kind of language Congress uses. Now, anti-Hindu in its nature, anti-development. Yesterday in Hyderabad, the rains you have seen, the kind of choke points that happened. So people are very clear. First we rejected TRS, now we'll reject Congress. Now BJP naturally is in the poll position now. In 17 seats, you will see a major shift of voters to BJP this side. But as one of the major faces of the BJP in the south, do you concede that the southern election is very different from the election in the north, the west and the east? Because in the south, the opposition seems to be far better placed than it is in Karnataka. The election is tighter in Telangana because there's a state government. The dynamics are very different from the rest of the country. Uh, I might not agree with it wholly, sir. In fact, I'll put it like this. Uh, here, the political parties are more entrenched. Uh, the so-called Dravidian parties, so-called regional parties, they're more entrenched. In Tamil Nadu, if you see, 70 years, it's Dravidian parties. Again, Karnataka, for a long-time Congress state. Again, Puducherry, long-time Congress state. Again, look at Kerala, long-time Congress communist state. So we are only looking at that first door to open. We just want that one door to open so that people actually see BJP's development model. So till you see... No, but we saw in Karnataka, it was a very corrupt kind of development model with lots of infighting so it's not like uh, you were able to provide Ram Raji in Karnataka which is why you got Ka voted Karna out. Karnataka is a complex state in 30 years no party has retained power sir instead of uh, saying that typical anti-incumbency has caught up we have to agree that Karnataka people always want a change I can give you sir 2013 Congress came to power with super majority 2014 we swept it in Lok Sabha 2018 the same thing happened 19 we swept it 2023 the same thing happened so Karnataka is a pro Modi state People love Modiji like anything. This time also in 28 seats, you will see, sir. In South, all we are looking at is one opportunity people should give us, specifically in Tamil Nadu, Kerala and all, so that people see our developmental model. In Telangana, that opportunity BJP is going to get in 2024, June 4. What do you think of this North-South divide? You know, we had uh, DK Suresh say that there should be a separate southern state because we interviewed Revan Reddy. He says BJP doesn't give that kind of prominence to southern leaders. Your MPs from... Hyderabad, Karnataka don't have the kind of prominence that they should, that UP and Gujarat are dominating. Now, Revan Reddy Garu, a couple of months back when PM was on the stage, uh, he mentioned this. Revan Reddy Garu exactly mentioned uh, in Hindi, I'm going to say that in English, sir. He said, Modiji is my bada bhai. Revan Reddy Garu said, he said, Modiji doesn't discriminate. As a chief minister, he says he never felt Modiji discriminated. Revan Reddy Garu also said he wants the Gujarat model of development to Telangana. He also said like how Modiji has done Sabarmadi, he wants to do for Musi Rivariya. Yeah. This is Revan Reddy Garu before the model code of contact election came. Now same Revan Reddy Garu after MCC has come, he is speaking a political language. Sir, anybody in South will know. Telangana got 9 lakh crore, we got 10 lakh 76 thousand crore. No discrimination happened to anybody. It is only Revan Reddy Garu who has to say how many times the South Congress government got dismissed by Rajiv Gandhi and Indira Gandhi ji. People like Virendra Patel ji, governments in Tamil Nadu, even Congress defeated Karmavira Kamarajaraya, who was their chief minister. Now Congress doesn't have any right to say, moment in Congress, any southern leaders become tall, become a competition to the Gandhi Parivar. They use 356 and dismiss them.